You want to tell them what you're doing, David? I'm trying to get the bumper cover off. Why? Wow. Pull the dang transmission. You can what? Pull the transmission. Oh. Not damaged. Though. Off and on, Clays. Got a seven or eight enclave. Got an order for the transmission. I'm going to walk behind you. I don't need to be on that thing. Why not? There you go. And they want the transmission out of it, so we're going to make you famous. Yeah. Yeah, make them sell them parts too. Won't there you go. Jackie's been on here. Is he? Yeah. But, well, come on down then. <laughs> come on down. But yeah, motor's uh, no good in the car, but the trans is good. And they want the transmission out, so. That's what David's doing now. Is this your project for today, David? I guess so. Transmission removal. I hope I was taking a nap. <laughs> what? I hope I was taking a nap. Hoping you was taking a nap. It's never that easy, David. So, what's this, 3.6? I guess, I don't know. Looks like a 3.6. Yep. 3.6 with like 300,000 miles on it. And the bearings are gone in the bottom end. But the transmission's still good. And because of the miles, it's the cheapest transmission on car parts. We're gonna sell. Oh, look, David, it does got a dipstick. I thought they were sealed transmissions. But you can check it. I figured being as new as it was, you're right, that it would be non serviceable, but it's serviceable. That's cool. Now, Chrysler would get on that same page. Hydromatic. leaking gas gonna pull the whole motor and transmission together separate the transmission on the ground and then we'll go ahead and pull the doors and stuff and inventory them interior parts and stuff uh, the seats are about 200 bucks a pop normally we are probably doing for like 65 doors were running uh, almost 500 freaking dollars a piece good doors on uh, online so of course we'll beat that uh, beat that by a lot I think so. take the damn wheel off of it pull the inside line out huh. I just don't think he wants to get down there in that dirt I believe that's what it is <laughs> take that hell that line ain't gonna be no good no way no we ain't saving that we get that new lift put in, we can use the lift. Yeah. But the bumper cover, the bumper cover's got to come off to get this other headlight bolt out from the bottom so the headlight comes out. Now, the old man got his bolt out, but then tried to pry it back up. Caught the edge of the fender, ruined a $250 fender. That's all right. No big deal. We're gonna make we're gonna make every bit of our money back on the car itself with just the transmission. So just that transmission will be golden, golden, golden. But then this this whole front bumper cover comes off, and then you can take this bracket here off. See, it separates. And then we can see this whole front assembly comes out. Give you a whole bunch more room. And we're probably just gonna drop the K frame. Take the forks and bolt it to the top of the car. What are you using right now? Pick the body up. Thank you. Yep. So. But. Yep. That's what we're working on today.
How much more you got, Billy? Nice cloudy overcast day. But they're gonna take this lift out and we're gonna get another lift to put in. This one's just a train wreck mess. I'm gonna omit that one and just start all over. Pretty fancy little enclave. Got all kinds of wood tram and stuff on the inside but it's not leather ropers here Such an unhappy face. You got a seven to go on the ratchet bro? Alright. I guess we'll cut this one short. Anything else? Alright, we'll check back in after lunch when we get the transmission out. Next video is called Be Burned. <laughs> <laughs>